Start recording. Uh, Alright. It's all started. Hello. Uh, your mic fuzzed out. Say hello. Hello. There it is. Alright, uh... I don't have any fucking clue what I'm doing right now. I don't have any of the bullshit. I basically have a notepad saying what I want to do. I have a bunch of pictures picked out that are going to be in the video. And other than that, uh, we're kind of just doing this off the cuff. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, so, before we just... Before we start this, we should explain what's going on. And I'm also going to be sending you a couple of pictures. It's really slow. So, for the last uh, little while now, a couple weeks, Riley and I have been thinking about doing a Dungeons and Dragons uh, video. I've played a couple times, not a lot. Riley has a lot more experience than I do. So... <laughs> yeah, I've played uh, four or five games. That picture right there is where we're starting. Let's just go off that. You ready? Yeah. Alright. So, start of the campaign. You wake up on a, an airship heading towards a port town in the southern the southern hemisphere. Uh, there are other passengers. You wake up at the back of the ship, and you hear a ruckus up top. What do you do? What is your immediate action? Do I... First off, question. Do I have all my equipment with me? You, uh, you are currently, uh, sleeping, so your equipment is nearby, but not on you. Okay, I am going to go grab all my equipment, put on my armor and everything, then go investigate the commotion outside. Alright, uh, after gearing up, you open the door, you go out into the hallway, you see a bunch of other doors are opening. You look around, see all the other passengers, they're all worried, and you see two guards coming down the stairs, they aren't part of the ship, and you, uh, you realize you have to fight or talk your way out. What do you do? Where do you go from here? Um, do I recognize what they're wearing? Uh, they're wearing gold-plated knee pads and, ho and carrying spears. They look like from the Western Hemisphere, possibly a castle. Am I a friend or foe to that castle? Your foe. Okay. So... Uh, wait, I need to do a thing. Pause. Um, pause. Alright. So, the guards coming down the stairs, they're carrying weapons, ready to attack. What do you do? Um. Riley? Uh, Alright, there you go. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> well, think faster. Okay, I am going to... Bruh. Okay, I'm going to... Pre I'm going to prepare and hold a spell... Scoot over, OG. ...called Command. All I'm right. not casting it, I'm just going to hold it. Alright. Uh, you prepare your spell, uh, ready to command one of the guards as they get closer. They get in, one of the guards enters the, the first room, the two people inside, and are, is currently preparing to kill them. Okay, I am going to use the spell I'm holding command, and I'm going to cast it, uh, cast it on... The guard that just pulled the people out. Alright. Uh, I'm going to tell him to protect the people of the ship. Alright. You, you cast your spell on the guard. He drops his... He has to do a wisdom saving throw. Right, right. Uh, so, what's your role? Um, 
one second. <laughs> 10. Wait on. Plus my charisma. Yes. And my charisma is. 212. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Well, connects successfully. The guard is not under your control. Uh, he, tur he turns around and uh, pushes the passengers back into the room, closing the door and barring it. Yeah. So he now for his, well on his next turn he has to complete my command. All right. Uh, the other guard is now curious and is ready to attack his old friend while also being wary of you and the other passengers. Okay. This is where spells come really in handy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that was my action. Yeah. Uh, the other the other guard charges at you, ready to stab you. He aims. Uh, he gets a twelve. He hits you in the shoulder, dealing. Uh, on attack opportunity, he came into my um um range. It's uh, yes, I know. I really, I know. <laughs> he only dealt one damage, anyways. So. Okay. <laughs> But I only have 9 health. Yeah, so you're now down to 8 health. You're yeah. kind of getting fucked. <laughs> uh, so the guard, so the spear is now sticking out of your shoulder and he is really close. What do you do? What's your action? Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Lucky 20 and Roll a d20 and a d4. It's a d... Wait, what? Roll a... D no, no, roll a... Isn't it d6? No, no, roll a d20 and a d4. Wait, why a d4? Okay. Things are done. I got the rolls for you. Uh... 11 and 3. Well, I, I'm rolling them right now. I, I, I already did. Well, I rolled a 15 and a 2 for the um, pass. So that's um, 17. No, that's 13 and add your uh, add your strength. What? <laughs> this is how it was done last time I, I played. You roll a d20 and a d4. You subtract the number of d4 from the 20, and you add your strength, that's your damage. No. That's not spellcasting. Spellcasting is... Okay. For spellcasting, I have to roll. If it's an attack, I have to roll to see if it hits. I rolled 15 and 2 plus my charisma, that's 2 of my modifier. So, it goes up to 17 if their armor is less than that i hit them then i roll for damage which for eldritch blast the damage is 1d10 right. so then, uh... hello yeah uh, uh, hello hello there it is all right i bumped my mic and it fucked up oh but I literally just explained so fast. No. Uh, so then do your uh, first roll. I did, I got 17. Alright. And then you roll for... If it breaks, I roll for damage, which is 1d10. Right. Alright, so you cast Eldritch Blast. Uh, you rolled for accuracy, right? Or you rolled for a hit? Yeah, I rolled for it, which is 17. Alright, so you, uh... You hit the guard, clean in the chest without just blast. He goes flying backwards, lands on the steps. He is unconscious.
Alright, uh... Alright, so the, uh, the other guard is under your command, he steps forward ready to attack. And for damage, I rolled 9. So, 9 damage. Oh, yeah, well then... So he's now at 1 health and unconscious. Okay. Now the... yeah... The other guard is no longer under your command, he steps forward ready to attack. Okay. And as as reaction, I will. Good. good. No, what's up? I will prepare um one of my fourth swords to defend. All right, you prepare a short sword for defense. Uh, the guard steps forward, swinging it or uh. Stabbing his spear at you. Uh, that. 19, he hits you. Uh, right in the stomach. And I rolled a block. Yeah, you roll block, so. Roll 12. A. Plus my strength, 3. So, 15. <laughs> 15. Uh, you, you unsuccessfully block most of the spear. You do split it in half, but you do, you do still get stabbed in the stomach. You are now uh, bleeding. And you also took... 5 damage. I really hope one of the pastors is a doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now is your attack. Uh, my attack, I am going to cast, um, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast again. Uh, are you able That's to? That's powerful. Are you able yeah, to? Yeah, it's a cantrip. Okay. It doesn't take spell slots. <laughs> okay. Uh, so then roll for attack. Fourteen plus two. Alright. Um. And then roll damage. Four. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> All right. I, uh, you almost missed the guard. Uh, he's he's still he gets hit right in the left side. He goes spinning and falls to the ground. He goes with the wooden door, dealing four damage to each passenger, and setting the ship on fire. One second. I'm. I'll be back. Alright. Alright, we're good. So, last attack, it was you hit the guard with Eldritch Blast. Yeah, how did his ship catch on fire? He was getting a torch, didn't, it? didn't I say that? No, you did not say he had a torch. Well, then I'm dumb. Okay. So, the guard is now on the floor, still alive. He, t he took three damage. The passengers in the room that he closed both took damage. Uh, I believe I said four, but I'm dumb. They both take one damage. Passengers are currently out in the hall running for their lives. Okay, um. I am going to use my. How big is the fire? Uh, right now it's small, just uh, just one side of the doorway, but it's rapidly growing. Okay, I'm going to quickly use my breath weapon, which is ice, to try and put it out. All right. Uh, I guess roll accuracy. It's a 15 foot cone. Okay. Uh, then you roll effectiveness. So that is yeah. a. D what do I add? Uh, I accuracy, I would roll death. Yeah. Well, no, this, this is uh, no, this is accuracy. This is effectiveness. So that would be uh, power. Well, yeah. when I use my um, just modifier thing, like normal modifier, then yeah. So that would be my charisma plus two, so seven. Seven. All right. Uh... Oh god. Okay. Ah. Uh... 
The fire doesn't completely go out, but it is now just back down to being embers. It will, it will eventually go back to being a full fire unless you put out the embers from the coal, and you also have to evacuate all the passengers. Uh, three of the passengers are already up on the deck, and they in here screaming. Okay, I. Okay, um. Well, man, you, you gotta think. I'm going to, I'm going to use precipitation to put out the fire. Alright. I forgot I had this cantrip. <laughs> Alright, so then, uh, you once again, you have to roll accuracy, you have to roll effectiveness, which is going to be, uh, dexterity. Precipitation is a cantrip, so I have to roll the cast. So. Yeah, roll, roll the cast. And that is a 20, right? Yeah, d20. Yeah. Unnatural 20. Damn! Alright. Uh, you cast your spell, the fire is now completely out, there's no chance of it starting back up, but now you have all the passengers currently running towards uh, the back of the ship, because there are more guards coming down the steps. Uh, this time there's four, all with weapons ready, and shields. Okay, um... Um, I am bullshitting my way through this. I didn't plan anything. <laughs> yeah, I can tell, because I'm already almost dead. <laughs> You're already almost dead. You ain't got nowhere to fucking go. I mean, you're on an airship, which means you're above land, so you can't really jump. And I was so slow. Um, if you die, we can restart with a different character. <laughs> that would um, be fun. <laughs> okay, um, how, how far up the stairs are they? Uh, about halfway down, let's say about seven feet. Seven feet away from you. Okay, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast and aim for the first, the closest one to me. Alright. Alright, so you need to roll attack and damage. Yeah. Okay, 14 for attack, then... I mean, where's the chocolate? I was gonna do it a different way. Nine plus. So, 14 for my attack, then nine damage. Alright. You guys all just blast. You launch it, it hits the first guard on the left side in the leg. It launches him back up the steps, taking out the other two guards behind him, but one is still standing. They all take nine damage. The last guard standing okay. currently has one health. Um, um, are they just still going to start walking down the stairs? Uh, we'll need to get up and then take a turn. Get up and rebalance. Okay, so, they're getting up, which is taking their turn. Then I'll cast Elder Blast again, just at the close one to me. Alright, so the last guard currently still standing on the stairs. You cast Eldritch Blast, so roll for the attack, and then roll for damage. Okay, I, go, I rolled 17 for the attack, All right. then 5 for damage. Alright, you, you cast Eldritch Blast, it hits the... It, has, it hits the guard right in the stomach. He goes flying backwards, killing all four guards. Ho oh, oh. ho. Yeah. Alright. And how many guards are left? Uh, currently, it's just you and the other passengers in the basement. You don't know uh, how many left are de on deck. Okay, can I 
take some of their armor. You can. Okay, I'm going to take a Wait. bit of stairs. Wait! Uh, roll a, roll a, roll, do you have a d8? Do you want me to roll for loot, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's a d100. Oh, okay, okay. I got 29. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get fucked. Uh, there, you find one thing that fits you, but it is a shoe. A shoe. <laughs> <laughs> what, is the entire ship made out of wood? Majority of it, yes. What's the shoe made out of? <laughs> Steel. I'm not going to sleep, I'm only going to rest for like like a minute or so, so I can get my spell slot back. Alright. Uh, let me just pause for a Pause. Alright, so you, so you rest for two minutes, correct? Yeah, well, for like a minute or something. Alright, uh, during your rest, the other passengers, uh, go and hide in a room, making sure everyone is unhurt. You are just sitting in the middle of the floor, untouched. Okay, so, now that I have my spell box, um... <laughs> what, um, like, race are these guards? Uh, human and orc. Hello? Hello? Alright. They are humans and orcs. So that might possibly help me. Alright, what's that? Um, protect them from good and evil, but I need to look. Alright, uh, so your rest takes your turn. Uh, the commotion from up on the deck stops. You are unsure if the crew or the attackers are the last ones standing. Okay. Okay, my spell won't help me. Alright. Uh, I'm going to hold Elder's glass ready to use. And I'm going to go up the stairs and... I'm going to go up the stairs slowly while holding Elder's Blast. Alright, you prepare your Elder's Blast and you start walking up the stairs. You see the captain and most of the crew dead on the floor, and there are currently eight more guards. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. Ah, uh, great. Um... Okay, I'm on the top floor? Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, how... where... How much is wood and how much is metal? Uh, I would say about 90% of the ship is wood. Okay, then. <laughs> um, where are the soldiers? Or the guard. Can you get some french fries? Yeah. Like tater tots, preferably. Okay. Uh, what was that, Riley? Where are the guards? Uh, they're currently uh, all around you. There are two in front of you, two to each side, and two up on the, uh, or at the wheel. Okay. Have they noticed me? They have not. So I could go for a sneak attack, and you could go for a sneak attack, but that would, that could very, very easily go south very yeah. fast. Uh, if you want, if you want my, if you want my recommendation, go for the people on the 
at the wheel and start bringing the ship down. Is that path clear, though? Like I said, there are two guards on either side on your way there, so you'd have to sneak. Which would be a D10 and your agility. Why do I feel like this is dishonored? <laughs> Just roll it. No, I'm not sneaking. I'm not sneaking. Okay. Because my best chance to fight them if I do it in a either honest staircase or me being above them and just trying to hit them without the blast. Alright. So what do you Oh shit. Um, that's why I was trying to let him go first. Come on, man. Okay, I'm going to say on the staircase that went down to the cabins. Alright, so you're cur you already you're already standing at the top of the steps. Okay, I'm going to go down a bit where like I can still keep my head out above. Alright, so you you move backwards going down a couple steps, you also crouch, so now just stop your head to see it and you can still see most of the guards. Okay, I'm going to use the L class I was holding and hit one of the guards aiming for like the middle of his back. Uh, which one? There's you have six targets. Two in front, two to each side. Um left the left one in front of me. Alright. Uh, you aim your Eldritch Blast for his left, roll for attack, and roll for damage. A natural 20. On attack? Yeah, on attack. Alright. Then, 7 for damage. <laughs> you Eldritch Blast, it stops just, bef just before it hits him, and expands, pulling in every- pulling in the two guards on your left side, killing both of them instantly. Holy shit. Now the other the other six guards or the all the other guards currently on the deck are all looking at where it came from. They don't see you, but they're looking for you. Okay, I'm going to go back down the steps. All right, you, ba you back so down the steps. Don't. You're now standing three steps away from the bottom. Uh, all of the guards swarm towards where the expo explosion went off. Okay. Oh, this is going better than expected. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got a fucking 20, bro. <laughs> okay. What, what's your next play here? Um. Okay, so, are they walking, like, around the stairs? No, there are there are currently four standing where the explosion went off. The other, uh, there's one back on the wheel and one patrolling. Okay. I swear to god, if you get another nat 20 on Eldritch Blast, I'm gonna fucking end this right now. <laughs> Look, whenever I used to play, <laughs> I would be a nat 20 somehow <laughs> whenever using Eldritch Blast. Alright. And it's only when I'm in a desperate si situation. It's only when I'm in a desperate situation. Alright, what's your play here? Okay, I am going to go slightly up with Eldritch Blast again. Alright. Go for the one patrolling around. Alright, uh, do you want to wait until the one patrolling is standing with the rest of the crowd or when he's alone? Um. I'll wait for him to go with the rest of them, All right. and then I'll attack. Uh, you wait about 45 seconds, he is now standing, uh, walking just past the other foot guards, standing there, thinking what the fuck just happened. You prepare your Eldritch Blast and throw it, uh, roll for attack, and roll for damage. Okay, I got 14 for attack, All right. then damage I got 10. Alright. 
You throw your Eldritch Blast, hit him right in the back, you instantly kill the first guard, knocking two more off the ship, and the other two are down. Oh my god, this is so much better. I'm mad! <laughs> it went from 0 to 100 to 100 to 0. <laughs> yep. No, this is this is dishonored when you have the guards running past you when you're hiding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, two guards are currently on, uh, down, about to stand up. The last guard is still steering the ship. What do you do? Okay, I'm going to. How much health are those two guards getting up on? Seven. Seven. I'm already having a good fucking time. This is awesome. Yeah. Okay, I am going to use Eldritch Blast again. And I'm aiming for the right one. Alright. Uh, you pray out you Eldritch Blast looking at the two guards. They're currently uh, just about to start I'm just about to stand up. They're still bent left over. Roll for attack, roll for damage. Okay, 15 for attack and 7 for damage. <coughs> wow. Lucky motherfucker. You throw the attack, it catches the guard in the right leg, uh, exploding, killing both of them instantly. Oh my god. It is now just you on what? 4 health against three. one guard of 3 health against one guard. Uh, an orc fit wearing full gold and steel armor with two swords, and he has 20 health. <laughs> and I can't, I can't do this um, trap, but I wish I could. What, what I thought of doing was using command and telling him to jump off the ship, but I can't. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. How okay. close is he to an edge of the ship? Uh, uh, he is surrounded by walls at the back of the ship. He's about 20 feet from the nearest edge, which would be in front of him and to the right. Okay, I need to look up a solo pass. Alright. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm actually going to move the uh, recording. On pause. Alright, uh, so, what is your action? Oh, hold on, I have a question. What is um the room he's in made of? Is it made of metal or wood? It is made of wood, but in most of the corners and parts of the walls are reinforced with steel. God damn. I can't do my strategy. I mean, you can. Only only some of it is reinforced. You just have to hit a part where it isn't. <laughs> it's a 15-foot cone. Oh, then yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> okay. The average weight of an ore is pretty heavy. Of the flesh should feel at least not that bad. Up down to it. Um... Uh, uh, if I knew it would be like this, I would take different spells. <laughs> uh, I you probably know this, but I should clarify. He is currently cautious. He he knows something is going on. He doesn't know where you are, but he's keeping a close a close eye out for you. Okay, what's the exact distance between you? And him? Uh, 22 feet with uh, a railing in the way. The rail is about four feet tall. Okay, um. I'm gonna have to cut this short. I gotta go. I gotta run out and grab some shit in like a second here. Okay, I'm going to use a dagger. Alright. Try to throw it at him. Uh.
Alright, uh, you're gonna use a dagger throw at him, so you must roll accuracy and strength and damage. Yeah. So 2d20s and a 10. First I roll to hit, then accuracy, then damage. Uh, yeah, 2d20s and a 10. So for that, um, I got 12 for hit plus, um, dex. So 13. 13. And accuracy. Um, I got 16. Then for damage, 7. 7. Alright. Uh, you, th you throw the dagger, it comes out a little bit limp. You wish you could have thrown it better, but whatever. Uh, it arcs over, hitting the orc right in the eye, dealing 7 damage and bleeding. Hell yeah. Okay. He, uh, because of bleed, he's going to take 4 damage every turn. Hell yeah. This is so good. <laughs> You're 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 so fucking lucky. <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay. Um, um. Um. Uh. He is currently stunned for one turn. Okay. I am going to move a bit closer, just not too far fucking away from the staircase. Okay. And staying in cover. Alright, uh, you start entering your way up out of the staircase towards the nearest, uh, bit of cover. That's uh, gonna take you about five seconds. In that time, uh, the guard, or the orc, is now looking at you. He doesn't see you, but he knows where you are. So, he knows the area I'm in, but he doesn't know my exact location. He has a, he has a, he has a location then pinned down to five feet. Okay. Um, okay, I am going to, um, okay, I'm going to try and throw my last dagger at his other eye. Alright, going for blind. Once again, roll hit, roll, uh, accuracy, and roll damage. A natural 20 hit to hit. A natural 20 to hit. Alright. Um, 13 for accuracy, then damage, 2. Oh, wow. Alright, uh, he was in, uh, El Cross Church, he's been bled for another 8 health. Uh, that's actually 15. Well, no, no, it was only one, so another 4 health, so that's 11. And you aim, dealing 2 damage. Alright, you, you throw the dagger this time. Absolutely perfect. It arcs over, hitting the guard right in the face, not hitting his eye, but he's still cut again. You deal with two damage, and he is once again stunned. Okay, this is going so much better. One decent, or hell, one hit, one hit from anything. He's dead. Okay, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast at him. All right. So roll, roll attack, roll damage. Actually, don't even bother rolling damage. You're going to kill him. I got, um, 17. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you throw your Eldritch Blast, hitting him square in the chest. He is then obliterated. You, the only thing left is his head. I, okay, now that he's dead, I'm going to go retrieve my daggers. <laughs> uh, you walk up the stairs. You see his head sitting on the ground perfectly. Uh, both your daggers are sticking out of his face, and they're both covered in orc blood. Okay. The blood no, 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 of your no, no, enemies. I'm Dragonborn, so I might be able to actually fit his helmet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can I see if I can actually can fit his helmet? Uh, you're gonna have to roll loot. Yep. 52. Uh, alright. You pick up the orc's head, uh... Grabbed by the helmet, the head falls out, you retrieve your two daggers, and you put the helmet on, and it is a perfect fit. 
Okay, how much more, um, um, armor? Eight. Huh? Eight. Eight? Oh! <laughs> I'm now at 19 AC. God damn. Alright. Uh, this is... We've okay, already... Wait, what? We've already been going for 40 minutes. <laughs> and I just murdered like 9 or 10 guys. 11, yeah. 11. Uh, alright. The rest of the passengers come out of the bottom of the ship. They look at all the dead bodies that are surrounded, all the blood, and they start panicking, thinking you killed everyone. Okay, I'm going to tell them I 